Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called No Strings Attached. Now, this is made by the developer Z Technician, the one who created Man from the Window and all those other hits. So, I expect nothing less from this game. Let's check out what it's all about right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up! Because here we go! Okay. I honestly can't tell if her eyes are open. Wow. Okay. No pants Tuesdays. Okay. Who's up making all that dang racket, huh? Keep it up and I'll put you out on the street. Don't go thinking I won't now. Now, why do we have a third eye? Zed Technician, why do we have that sleepy eye right there? It's not even fully open. Making all that noise when I'm trying to nap? Who in their right mind? Wait, there ain't no guests in here tonight. Uh-oh, then what was that banging? Oh wait, you do have pants on. All right, whoever or whatever's in here, you'd better listen up and listen good too. I'm going to bed. She was already in bed. You can stay, you can leave, don't matter too much to me. But wake me up again, and we're gonna have problems. Got it? Got it. Get it? Got it. Okay, that's the gift that we are gonna get. It says, open me. What kind of a darn fool do you take me for? I ain't opening that. Yeah, you are. We already know you are. Whoa! Who the fuck was that guy? Da da da. Shoot. Find the clue, then open your gift. It's dark outside. Okay, find the clue, then open your gift. It's dark outside. It's a broom closet. Okay, go in there. I want you to go in there. Oh, here we go. 11.01 p.m. There's another gift right here. Wrong one. What? I didn't even... Oh, shit. They're already outside. As the intruder closed the distance between himself and Maggie... A single deafening thud reverberated throughout the night. Then all fell silent once more. Not long after, the intruder was dropped off at the local hospital by Maggie. She then casually went on about her business that night. The man had been knocked into a state of stone-cold unconsciousness after being bludgeoned by her cane. Despite her best efforts, the doctor was unable to wake him after many, many attempts. The man didn't awaken until long after Christmas. Damn. She beat that ass so hard he didn't wake up till after Christmas? He missed presents and everything? Okay, I guess her third eye actually came in handy because I thought she wasn't going to see anything, but she saw everything. So she saw nothing but everything at the same time. How is that even possible? Lost signal. Find the clue, then open your gift. Okay, so this thing is randomly generated. Lost signal, you say? Oh my... Holy shit. Okay, lost signal. That's definitely not it. Are we just going into people's hotel rooms? This is a hotel, right? So there's no president here. Oh, there is. Okay, that's some crack is whack type mirror. So what we have to do, we have to find, wait, I know what this is. So we have to find a TV that had the static like the one that I saw when I first played this before I got clapped. Okay, right here. Boom, this is it. But hurry, for at midnight, I will come to find you. Losing track of time. Okay, I think I have to find a room where the clock doesn't work because every single present has a clue and somebody is coming at midnight. Okay, so we have to hurry up. Losing track of time, that's definitely not it. Let's see what's in door number two. It's 11, 11 p.m. Make a wish, everybody. Does anybody do that when they see 11, 11 on the clock? Does everybody make a wish or do only corny people like me do that? That one's 11, 12. Okay. I do not know where I go. Losing track of time. Doesn't that make sense to do one where the clock isn't working? Or maybe the clock is going ape shit? Let me see. 11.14. 11.14. How about you? 11.15. What the heck? What is happening right now? 11.16. Losing track of time. What's that? Let's get this bread type shit. For somebody that walks with a cane, she's moving pretty fast. Faster than me for sure. I can't find the present, everybody. Because I don't know what losing track of time means. Am I just too stupid? Don't answer that question, everybody. Do not answer that question in the comments. Oh, there we go. How did I not see that? It's dark outside. Okay, if it's dark outside, that means it's got to be the candle, right? Please. Come on now. What? What does it mean it's dark outside? Find the clue, then open your gift. Unheated food. Unheated food. That one's the losing track of time one. How did I not notice that before? I'm dumb. I am dumb. You know, 
People can call me dumb in the comments. Go ahead. Go wild. Go wild in the comments. Let's see. This one's not. It's dark outside, apparently. What about this one? This one is unheated food. It's got to be because bread is unheated food. So it's definitely that. Wrong one? What do you mean? All right, let's see here. Find the clue, then open your gift. Vitamin C. Okay, I know what that is. It's the one with the oranges. That one actually makes me feel smart. That one actually makes me feel like I have an ounce of intelligence. So where the hell are those big cojones sized oranges? Because I need to open the gift fast. I need to be fast as shit. Where the hell? It's really over here? Okay, there you go. Vitamin C, come see me in the morning. But hurry, for at midnight, I will come to find you. Eight missing legs. Okay, does that mean... Um, wait, what does that mean? Eight missing legs? Well, what do you mean, eight missing legs? Hold on. Give me, give me one second here. Eight missing legs, though. Why? Why is that a thing? Eight missing legs? What has eight missing legs? It's not the bread. What is this one? This is the one with the mirror. Okay, it's not that. This one is... I don't know what that is. The hell? What was that about? What was that about? That kind of looked weird. Whoa. Okay, let's not trip. Let's not trip. It's dark outside. That's the one with the static. This is the one on the bed. Is that it? Eight missing legs? A second box. A second box. Oh, okay. So eight missing legs means the bed? I guess I was right. I kind of just guessed. And I guess correct this time. So I know what this one is. There was two boxes in one of the rooms. It's right there. Got it. What does this one say? Losing track of time. Okay. Now we have to look for the blinking one. Where would that be, everybody? We only have less than 30 minutes. We have 26 minutes before we get that midnight clapping. That's the lost signal one. That's... I don't know what that is. I really don't give a damn. That's the not blinking one. That's something else. Okay. Oh, there you go. Give me some. Give me some. I remain unmade. I remain unmade? What do you... What do you... What do you mean I remain unmade? Does that mean the bed's messed up? Please. Please mean that's the bed being messed up. Come on now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, there you go. Unmade. Somebody slept in my bed type shit. It's dark outside. I still don't understand what the hell that one means. Because it's not that one. It's not. So... It's dark outside. That's not it. That one's a mirror. Oh, wait. That's it. The blinds were open. Of course. Burn it at both ends. Burn it at both ends? Candle? Please. <gasps> Lost signal. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, this is creepy. Is it midnight? The best thing since... Oh, shit, it's 11.45. The best thing since sliced bread. That's what it is. Oh, sliced bread. Yes! Holy crap, I'm scared. Seven years of bad luck. A crack mirror! A crack mirror! Crack is whack! This is it. Oh, my God! What was that? Holy shit! Unheated food? Wait. Unheated food? Whoa. Whoa. Unheated food? Wait. Give me one second. I am nervous as shit balls. Unheated food? That's not it. Oh, wait. No microwave. Got it. Open the closet. The broom closet? <gasps> oh, shitty on me, titties. This is actually very freaky. I don't like this. What? Bro's all buff and sexy? I've got you now. I... Da, da, da. Hey, wait a minute. You're, You're not, not Jimmy. Jimmy. What? You're, You're not Jimmy. Jimmy. He was supposed to be here and You're not him. him. I am him. I am him. I promise you. I'm Himmy. He, he lives, lives right here, right? 9189 Zara Lane. But this is 6816 Zara Lane. Crap, I'm at the wrong house. 
Boy, you better start explaining what in the heck's going on here before I decide to knock you upside the head. Wow. It was a case of a misunderstanding. Damn, I told you, buff and sexy, six pack and everything. So yeah, I live down at the Moonwater Commune with my brothers and sisters. Yesterday, this guy shows up and he's all like, I want to cut this tree down and take it home to use for decoration. And we tell him, no, that's one of our sacred trees. Don't take that one. But then he starts chopping it down anyway. And I'm there, you know, I'm 100% ready to start throwing punches right then and there. But then the Grand Elder shows up and goes, no, Philip, you mustn't do that. So I waited until everyone left and then tracked that guy down. Turns out his name's Jimmy. My plan was to just scare him a little bit, you know, I wasn't gonna hurt him or anything. But then I went to the wrong address. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, I gotta go find Jimmy now. Are you crazy or something? You can't go do that. Huh? You can't just go barging into folks' homes, boy. You could get hurt, or worse. But what about Jimmy? Forget about him. I know you're too young and headstrong and stupid to realize it now. But you can't just take matters into your own hands like that. There's a right way to go about these things, and then there's a wrong way, too. I shouldn't have to tell you that breaking and entering definitely ain't the right way. But enough of that. I've had enough of dealing with you and your nonsense for tonight. So get lost and let me sleep in peace. And don't let me catch you doing something stupid like this again, you hear? Okay. Thanks, miss. Wow. The biggest fucky wucky to end 2022. That man definitely skips leg day and forearm day. And not wearing shants day. But yeah, it was just a case of misunderstanding, everybody. He was trying to find Jimmy. I'm Himmy. So I guess it was just a little misunderstanding, you know, no big deal. But we only got one star. I kind of wanted to check what was inside of that shower curtain because that actually freaked me the hell out. This is it. The guy's in here, right? <gasps> there you are. All right. I kind of just wanted to see what he looked like. Eight missing legs. Eight missing legs. Eight missing legs. Eight missing legs. Okay, that one, I think it's the one with the present on the bed, right? Oh, no, it's the one with the two missing chairs. Open the closet. Okay, so we got in really fast. And please tell me I got a good ending. What was he planning on doing if I was Jimmy? He was on all fours. Bro was doggy style. What are you going to do in that position? That is the least intimidating position if you were going to teach somebody a lesson. Shit don't make any sense. Okay, so we got the ending where we fought off the guy that's in the closet. And we did the other ending where we opened the wrong box. I guess the only thing left to do is to wait until midnight and figure out what kind of ending that would be. All right, everybody. It is almost midnight. I don't know how much that I waited in real time, but... Once the clock had finally struck midnight, the front door slowly began to open. And in popped this ugly beast! Yeah, there you are, Mall Santa. Why are you wearing that outfit anyway? The intruder slowly made his way down the hallway, intently searching for the building's single occupant. His search was cut short, however, when a single deafening thud rang throughout the night. Soon afterwards, the intruder was dropped off at the hospital by Maggie. Okay. So the guy poked his head in, and then Maggie bumps him on the head with the cane. And it's kind of like the other ending, but instead of the guy catching her and then her reverse unoing his ass, he actually just walked in and she just went bonk. And I think that's pretty much it because I tried going as fast as I can, but I couldn't get any more stars. So maybe that one star is all we got. But this was actually a really fun game by Zed Technician, another banger. I will leave the link to his stuff in the description box below if you all want to support him and support like his future projects. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!